Hello again YouTube, hopefully you can hear me, I've not put the microphone on today because we're trying to do a quick, quick, quick video. Um, so, last time out we cut the grass again, I think we cut it on, when did we cut it? Thursday? Friday? Um, I try and do it every two days at the minute, so, but last time we were here, oh I think one of the neighbours has brought me a lovely, look at this, uh, service, need to lend me a, let me wheelbarrow it more often. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy your bath. Enjoy your bath. So there we go. Nice little beer. But anyway, last video. What were we talking about? We cut the lawn. We put some more products on to try and um, mask these. And it's worked to an extent. But obviously it's not going to work fully because the rest of the lawn will get greened up as well. Um, and I did say that I was going to put some green force on here to kill the weeds and look what it's done there's no weeds in sight absolutely wonderful stuff oof that is bright that that is the then the side it's masked it slightly as you can see but when you put it on across the whole thing everything's going to go super green um, so we put the green force on and yeah not a weed in sight and there's not a weed in sight because I've just spent the last hour and a half digging them out. And you can see they're all here. In this little bag. So that's off. This little... Not the paper. But all the weeds that we pulled out. So we just lifted the surface and pulled the weed out. And there's a little bit of um, root zone come with it. But that's not a problem. We can work with that. Um, but yeah. So not use the focus on me so <laughs> focus on me like I'm a superstar no um, so we're not using the green force it arrived tied up in here as well um, but one of my uh, Instagram friends followers follow them um, is it Connor I can't think of his name edit it here uh, but yeah he said oh just before you use it make sure he actually recommends that it's not to be used on lawns younger than six months old and he's right uh, it's in big writing on the back there um where does it say it where does it say it not suitable for new sown lawns for at least six months after establishment so that's why we've avoided it so we're going to give it a few more weeks before we actually apply that if any more weeds come through and what i intend to do is do a comparison between green force and uh, weed off on the basis that the two like for like weed kills for your lawn uh, but they've got different active ingredients so see which one works better and we'll go from there but anyway what we've got here turn it around so we've been making it nice and sharp uh, on here so I'll give you a quick rundown because I've tried and wanted to film stuff in the past and it's just been absolutely nightmarish um, so we'll put this here and I'll give you a quick rundown of what we want to do with one of these. So, we'll zoom in a little bit. Right, so I've obviously took the side off the Phillips head screwdriver. I've used a 17mm socket to remove the chain and to remove the big cog. The drive on the little cog with a 17mm bit a 17mm bit reverse drive and let's get you around the front put that with uh, grinding paste and I've got 120 grit can you see that? water base got that off ebay I'll put the link in now paste it across here and it'll do the top it'll do the blades and it'll do the bed knife so it'll make it all nice and sharp to the point where it looks really good I'm having a swig of my beer I start lending stuff out more often um, still not had my uh, wine from Jeff Rossington yet when I lent him my compost roller you can do that maybe tomorrow when footballs on 
But anyway, when you do that, you can also get whoa, super sharp cutting. Paper. Look at that, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect that. Um, so yeah, so basically, again, side off, adjusting these two knobs for the reel to bed knife height, bring it in so it's touching, back it off one so it's, you can feel it gripping, paste, reverse drive, wash, test, with a paper cut. And it goes from there. Bit messy, but it works and it does a job. Uh, link in here now of my guy gardening on a low budget. Brian up in Scotland has done a brilliant video. Better than this, I need to do this sort of stuff on his uh, Quadcast Panther. So have a watch of that all then. But yeah, I've done that today. And now we're going to give it a cut because again it needs it. But what we're going to do, we're going to go 15 mil, it's been at 20 on this side long, and it's looking like I say, you can see it's looking really lush. So I think it'll handle 15 mil. So let's get on with that now. I crossed the line as I fell from the edge. Now I'm crashing down. I'm crashing. Mil. Looks good, looks a lot better. It's getting uh, um, patches pulled out the weeds, so maybe do a bit of seed spots in a couple of weeks or so, see how it fills in. Uh, but the clippings. So we when was it Thursday night we cut here on 20 mil and that's what <laughs> that's what we're getting from a couple of days at 15 mil that is just insane but the, the the grass looks just so healthy doesn't it you know with sharp blade it's all lovely and green i can't smell but i bet it smells lovely it'll smell of bloody fertilizer but that's that side so should we do that one at 15 mil will it handle it i don't know should we give it a go Crazy top. We'll see. Need to go the other way. That is from what? How many passes? One, two, three. Going on to the fourth pass. And we're pulling off a load of grass. A load of grass. Let's get some function.
Right, folks. Yeah. You can get a better angle than that. Apart from those god awful yellow lines from, I'm assuming, Miss Fertiliser, but it could be, as some people have suggested, uh, Fertiliser Burns. But the rest of it, I mean, look at that. That is not bad going. And that's at 15 millimeter cut height, that. And that's what we set the bar at. So, that's looking very 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 well um right so obviously elephant in the room oh i'm here was the feature of these two bad boys the uh flags we're on 120 frames per second so we're not feeling too sick but them too so the reason why i've got on is not for stripe enhancement um we can do the lines without on the web but the problem I've got is, and you can see down here, the lines are a bit wobbly. So it's just to try and add a little extra bit of weight on the rear roller to try and keep it more locked in place while we uh, while we do the cross hatching, while we do the old um, tartan striping. But apart from that and that <laughs> and that, um, yeah, that's a good result there on the on the Johnsons. Oh. Point it down a bit there. Wonder if we can get that as the older uh, screenshot rolled back there for a couple of seconds. But anyway, this side as well, um, it's looking reasonable. Um, I think we've done some upset to it, taking out all these patches for the weeds, especially down here. But it'll be useful for that in the uh, meantime. But it's all working. Johnson's is looking good. Baron Brug is looking good. Um, we're getting the ribbing on both sides. So, we have got Cobra or Falkenstein, still in the mower Germany. Falkenstein, that's the name of the mower. Uh, Hater, if you want to send me a Toro Greensmaster for review, you know, anything like that. But no, I am on the lookout for a, a new mower. Uh, I do like the look of the uh, Falkenstein, but it's very expensive for a push mower. Uh, but it's i don't know which way do we want to take the channel because we're getting really good results from a 45 quid second hand mower um we just want to try and get it better and would that be finding like a quad cast panther that my man brian's got with more blades uh i've seen a ransom's ajax with about eight blades up for sale over on ebay but it's 300 quid and it's old it might need a bit of work i don't know if i want to be spending that much money on something because I've bought second hand stuff before and it upsets me sometimes so I spend a lot more money on it than what I usually do uh, but yeah other than that um, yeah hit up Green Care if you want some stuff Real Mowing Club discount code 5% off and that's about it really I don't know if there's anything else we can do here other than give it a sweep up you don't want to be watch me doing that so on that I bid you adieu good luck England tomorrow night against um who are we playing? Spain, España. Uh, it's going to be a tough one, but you know, work hard, results might come. And uh, I'll leave you with this one final shot. And that side looking very, very good. That side of that looking very, very good. I'm hoping that the 120 frames per second isn't going to be upsetting you. Well, uh, I did that for the slow motion, I've just kept it running for 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, hopefully, we'll next video, all these will clear it up. But yeah, adieu. Good night and Alvida Sen. See you in the next one. Alvida Sen.